Hey guys, that might give me back here for the video, guys. We have a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of stuff to reveal. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the way, guys, we have our two limited edition cards for tomorrow. 70 speed, 88 acceleration, 96 strike, 96 tackle, 96 playback, 96 bloodshed, 96 power move, 75 finesse move on this Akeem Hicks right here. Absolute monster of a card. Definitely going to be not that expensive, surprisingly enough. But we got Quentin Spain coming in 96. Strength, 92 awareness, 97 pass block, 96 impact block. Guys, keep in mind, tomorrow we have released two of Zero Chill promo, and it's right before EA Sports is going on their break. Now, you might say, okay, they're going on the break. Awesome. You know, whatever. We're cool. We're cool. Well, guys, they're going on the break, kind of, because if there's a loophole that happens in Madden or in any way we have a chance to make coinage because something goes wrong in Madden, which, you know, it's EA Sports, so it's always a possibility. They will drive in the blizzard. They will drive in the biggest snowstorm possible to make sure they get to that studio and that we do not make coins. So if there's any kind of, you know, issue with loopholes, keep in mind it will be still fixed within a second or two because EA Sports would never let us, you know, win like that. With that being said, though, our cards we have for tomorrow, we got revealed here. 93 overall, Justin Fields. Wow, 92 speed, 93 throw power, 93 throw short, 88 throw middle, 91 throw deep, 90 throw under pressure, 85 throw in a run, and 87 play action on Justin Fields. And then we have my man, Swervin, the man, Irvin, 95 overall. We looked at Quentin, um, what's that? We looked at uh, Quandre Diggs earlier today. Obviously, I don't know if that's going to actually be the player, though, because, again, like I said before, EA Sports have already said that because we got free safety Calvin, most likely we're not going to get another free safety card in Quandre Diggs. But, again, like I said, we have to wait until it ends up happening because that's kind of weird, I'll be honest, because if Quandre is one of the guys, and this is the other guy, right? What's really weird about that is that usually, well, for the first at least, at least, one was limited, one was out of position and one wasn't, right? So that's why I also thought that Quandre was out of position because I knew this one wasn't going to be out of position. So I, I don't get it, man. I don't get EA Sports. 93 speed, 95 jumping, 94 catching, 94 catching traffic, 95 spec cast, 93 short route running, 91 medium route running, and 90 deep route running on Michael Swervin Irvin. So guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. What are your thoughts and opinions of the cards that we got revealed today? I'll definitely tell you right now. You know, I cannot wait to see what the Ghost of Madden players look like. Because that's what I'm actually caring about so, so much at this point. Um, you know, with all the content we released, it's all great. It's all cool and all. But Ghost of Madden is where I really care. Because that's when we see Legends, Future Players. A lot of cards get more upgrades than they already have right now in the game. So again, like I said, I'm going to be interested to see how that ends up working out. But you know what? For right now, though, I say it's a pretty dang cool release for release two. I know some other people I've seen on YouTube have said this with absolute dull crap, the Zero Chill promo. And to be honest, I'm going to say right now, right? This is nothing like it was last year. Last year was so much better when it came to the Zero Chill release. And, you know... It's almost like a fact that like EA Sports can't live up to the previous year. I mean, this is every single year now. It's like every single year, there's always like, okay, well, you know, they were better last year. They were better this year. And it always seems like that. With that being said, though, let's look at theme teams real fast. We end off this video because I did not know the Washington theme team actually has like the worst theme team in Madden. Washington theme team and the Bengals, which is so, so weird because... This team, right, the Washington theme team, they literally was the best team last year. They were the, they had the best cards. Everyone, every week it was like, oh yeah, Washington theme team, Washington theme team, Washington theme. Now they have the worst team of any theme team in Madden. And the Las Vegas Raiders has one of the best ones alongside the Patriots and that's it. Unless I'm completely missing in 92. Uh, but with that being said though, I will say one thing, right? They need... To get what's his name on the Raiders here, they need to go ahead and add Roger Stallback because oh, Roger Stallback, he's a cowboy. 
Uh, Frank Arkenton? I can't think of the guy who was on the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, I cannot think of him. He was a gunslinger guy. He was a gunslinger. He just... Ab guys, tell me down below. I, I know you guys know. I don't know why I can't think of it, but we need him. Stabler. Kenny Stabler. Kenny Stabler. I'm pretty... If I'm incorrect here, boys, I will be so upset. Kenny Stabler? Let me see. Is it is it him? Yup. Kenny Stabler was definitely a New Orleans Saint, but he also was a Las Vegas Raider. And he's called the Snake. That's who I was thinking about. I was thinking about the Snake. The Snake, Kenny Stabler. So they need to add him to the game. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. We don't need another Las Vegas Raider. Just give them a 96 overall quarterback and we'll call it a day, okay? I just feel like Kenny Stabler would be a lot better on this team than Derek Carr right now at 91 overall. But if you guys did enjoy this video, hit a like, subscribe down below. See you guys next one. Peace out.